When you're selling your house, the exterior features are just as important as staging the inside of your home. We spoke with top real estate agents about the outdoor features that increase a home's value, and today we're taking a look at fences, pools, and how to clean the outside of your home. First, let's talk fences. A fence isn't a guaranteed way to add value, and if you don't already have one, your money is better spent elsewhere. There are a few different factors to consider, including how much it costs to build a fence. The length of your fence perimeter, as well as the type and material of the fence, will determine the cost. For example, barbed wire is the cheapest type of fence you can buy, but doesn't look good or provide extra privacy. Wood is a great material that's moderately priced and adds a lot of privacy to your property. Vinyl and aluminum are more expensive, but can give your home a more polished look and are both fairly low maintenance. Wrought iron is both expensive and high maintenance, but can make certain homes look classier. Your location is another important factor. If your property gets a fair amount of rain, wind, or snow, wrought iron is a better choice than wood. Once you've decided to install a fence, you'll need to make sure you know your property lines. If you don't have access to your home's plat, the map of your property lines, your county assessor's office should be able to help. You'll also need to reach out to your utilities company to inspect your property where you plan to build your fence. They can help make sure that your fence isn't in the way of any gas, electrical, or water lines. We spoke to Sue Goodhart, a top real estate agent in Alexandria, Virginia. If your fence is in bad shape, Goodhart recommends repairing it or removing it. So it should be looking fresh and well taken care of. If it's damaged or broken or leaning, just take it out. Chain link is not very attractive, so very often I'll just ask people to pull it down. Having a fence is especially important to buyers who have dogs. In fact, a study by SunTrust Bank found that having a yard and a space for their dog influenced 33% of millennials' decision to buy their first home. Another big reason for wanting a fence is privacy, particularly in cities. Instead of guessing what buyers might want, you're better off making improvements to other parts of your home. Now let's talk about pools. There are two different types, in-ground and above-ground. In-ground pools take much more of an investment, but are the only type of pool that'll actually add value to your property. Not only that, pools cost on average $1,000 a year to operate, according to HouseLogic.com and Dave Ramsey. On the other hand, they also stated that a well-marketed and maintained pool could add up to 7% of your home's value. Your location is another factor in whether a pool will increase your home's value. Pools are much more popular in areas with warmer climates. We spoke to top luxury real estate agent Pam Zaragoza of Burlingame, California, who had this to say. Swimming pools are popular in Palo Alto and farther south. People in Southern California really want a swimming pool. In addition, high-end buyers and middle-aged buyers as teenagers are more likely to want a home with a pool. On the other hand, Zaragoza told us that younger families buying their first home are a different story. All my families with young children, they don't want the pool, they fill it in. To really understand if a pool will add value to your home, talk to a top real estate agent in your area. They'll help you understand if the buyers in your market look for a pool as an outdoor feature. The other major factor in making sure your home's exterior looks great is making sure the outside of your home is clean. This is the cheapest and easiest way to make your exterior look better. We have some handy tips on how to clean the outside of your house. You can hose down your home with a pressure washer, but there are a few things to keep in mind to prevent damage to your house. For cleaning easily damaged surfaces like wood or stucco, Consumer Reports recommends using a 40 degree angle or low pressure nozzle. Rust or fertilizer stains require special stain removers. For the toughest stains, you might need to use a cleaner that contains muriatic acid. That chemical is effective but dangerous, and it's best to call in a professional who has experience cleaning exterior surfaces. Next, wash your windows. We don't recommend power washing your windows as using too high a pressure can cause them to crack or shatter. Instead, buy or rent an exterior window cleaner with a garden hose attachment. Once you're done, you can prevent streaks by drying the windows with a squeegee. Your roof and gutters also need to be spruced up to keep your home looking great. If your roof is stain free, a quick sweeping should clear any remaining debris. If there are moss or algae stains, your roof may require chemical treatment. To sum it up, if you want to increase the value of your home, sprucing up the exterior is every bit as important as the interior. Cleaning up is always a great idea, but neither a pool nor a fence will guarantee a return on your investment. It all depends on a number of factors in your market, and it's best to ask a top real estate agent for specific advice that'll work for you. You can find one at homelight.com.